nine month old slab still be at 95% RH? Many times when we get into discussions of this nature and we talk about concrete and high levels of, of relative humidity in the concrete and the concrete being placed for an extended period of time, we really start to dig into it. We, we find out that most of the people who are having conversations think that drawing happens on a stopwatch. Now, curing does happen on a stopwatch. The concrete's going to physically get hard no matter whether you put it in the ocean or you have it in an open environment. That concrete physically is going to get hard. But when it comes to the floor covering installers, when it comes to the finished contractors, we're worried about the drawing. And those are two totally different things, and drawing does not happen on a stopwatch. Drawing starts once we have windows in, a building enclosed, and we have ambient conditions that are conducive for drawing. At that point, the moisture then has the incentive to come out of the concrete, into the air, and allows that concrete to get to a point where we have acceptable moisture levels internally. Now, some of the things that we do during the construction process really does shoot us in the foot. One is getting things enclosed rapidly. That's a key one. But the other part of it is we look at a lot of times we're using what we call UV uh, dissipative types of curing compounds that we think are actually breaking down. And unfortunately, a lot of those curing compounds are impeding the drying process. The other side of it is when you start looking at power troweling, a lot of times we overpower trowel the surface of that concrete and we diminish the concrete's ability to expel or evaporate the moisture because we actually burnish the surface of the concrete and close down that capillary structure. So if we can get to a point where we have taken care of those issues, we probably will see that 95% come down fairly reasonably. Obviously, these are questions that we get on a very consistent basis, but if there's any that we've missed that you would like to submit to us, please send them to sales at wagnermeters.com.